Hi guys, it's Alche here. Uh, this is my my son Loki. So Hi. he's the one who helped me develop this board game. So this board game is called Riddle, and I'm going to show you all the components uh, in this game. So he's going to help me to explain all of that to you. So what have we got in here, Lucky? So we've got a board. Okay, so this is a board we, we've got. So that's the, the riddle board we have. So as you can see here, uh, it goes into a number of direction. And, and we have the word riddle here. So different spaces and we have about 30 spaces on the board. And each space relate to one title. Let's put that in here. What else have we got in here? So we've also got some property title cards. Okay, so these are the property title cards that relate to the board. So we've got the different numbers and each number will relate to the number of the board just to make it easy to identify them. So at the moment we have green which is townhouses we have blue they are apartments the orange color are land subdivision and the red one is community state so each title card as you can see they have a number of properties for each um, of the cards so it will tell you what they are the color if it's a townhouse apartment land subdivision or community state the number of lots it has the interest rate sales commission site purchase price and different costs the so construction costs and the selling price and so on and at the back it has the six phases of the life cycle that I've developed so it starts with the acquisition and goes all the way to title and settlement. So we have acquisition, design and approval, tender and contract, construction, sales and marketing, and lastly, titles and settlement. When the properties reach the last phase, that's when you will be able to sell it back to the bank at a much higher price, making significant profit there. All right, what else have we got here, Loki? Well, so this we've also got three goals okay so at the start of the game all the players have to agree which goal they want to start playing so we had a green goal an orange goal and a red goal so the green goal is a much easier uh, goal to achieve so this is about the first player who achieve 10 times the amount of capital that they started with wins the game so that's a green goal the orange goal is a much uh, harder one than the green goal this is about the first player who completes the six phases of a life cycle for one property any other pro any property on the board wins the game and finally, the red goal is then much, much harder and it's a much longer game. It's about the first player who win five properties that has completed the all of six phases of the life cycle. And they need to achieve a net assets of $10 million. So after deducting all the loans, the borrowing that they have um, taken from the bank. Okay. Okay, Lucky. what else have we got? So we've game? got a quarterly economic indicator. Okay, so what this is, this is like in property, it goes for a cycle of boom time and recession, which is bust. So we've introduced this economic life cycle in the game so that it has a different interest component so in boom time things will get a bit more expensive so for example if 
uh, we are playing and it's a number three, then everything would be 5% more expensive. So how does that work in the game? So at the start of the game, everything would be at the normal cost, which is the normal cost on the title card. And then after three rounds of play, then the bank will roll the colored dice. And let's say we got a six there. So with a six indicating minus 15%. So it, it sort of mimic, it's a recession now. So everything would be cheaper by 15%. So if you buy a property, instead of paying the price on the title card, that would be discounted by 15%. And similarly for construction and selling of a property as well, it would be discounted by 15%. So every free round, this economic life cycle will be reset by the bank well, with the color of the dice. So for example, it's four now, then it would be minus 5% and so on. Okay? All right, what else have we got in the game? Lockie? So we've also got the professional services. Okay, so the professional services card, we've introduced this in this game to help with the mechanics of the game. And also, in the game, to progress through the different life cycle, you need to have an approval outcome. An approval outcome would be a a one, two, or three would be an approval outcome. A four, five, and six would be a decline outcome. So at the moment, that's about 50-50% chance. However, in the game, if you use a professional service to help you to progress to the next phase of the life cycle, you can engage a consultant. For example, if you're acquiring, a property, you can use a buyer's agent and the buyer's agent will charge you a fee, which is 1% of the site purchase price. And if you engage a buyer's agent service, you will be able to deduct one from the dice if you get a decline outcome. Yeah. So for example, if you engage this and you get a four, Usually a four would be a decline outcome. But if you have engaged a buyer's agent, you can deduct one from it. So four minus one would be a three. A three would become a, an approval yep. outcome. And similarly, there's a, there are a number of professional service in different phases. So for example, in design and approval, we might use a town planner. And a town planner, in this case, would be a 3% cost, 3% fee of a site purchase price. And in this case, you will be allowed to deduct two from the dice you got. So if you got a five, then five minus two would be three, which is a, approval an approval result. outcome. Yes. Yeah. So essentially, the reason we use these is it depends on the player. If they want to just go with a 50-50% chance, that's okay. But if they want to engage a professional service, professional consultant to help them, then they increase the likelihood of getting an approval yep. from 50% to 67% all the way to 83%. Yeah. Okay? Okay, Lucky, what else have we got in the game? So we've now got the money. So I'll yes. just give you one hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so we got a number of denominations in this in this game and at the start of the game we start with a set of money in different denominations. So we got one dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, all the way to you know millions of dollars and over. So it helps with accounting and the money management. And it's make it very easy to, to calculate, especially if you're going to pay a sales commission on a marketing, for example, sales and marketing, you have to pay. So it's very easy 
to have small denomination to to play different players. Yeah. Okay. What else have we got in the game, Lucky? We've <laughs> also got. What about this? You want to talk about the rule book? Um, we've also got a rule book. Wait. Okay, so we got a rule book here. So this is detailing everything that happens in the game. Where do you, when you land on each property, what can you do, what you can't do, and so on. And how do you pay? And it gives you instruction about how do you win the game, how do you start the game, the setup, and so on. Okay, so yeah. that's all the rules are in this uh, in this um, in book here. What else now we've got, got the bank sheet. Yes. So this one is a bank loan register. So essentially, in this game, the one of the players would need to act like a bank. So every time someone wants to borrow money to acquire a property in this mm. game, so all this transaction would be recorded on this bank loan register and getting tracked for each player. So that at least when they have more money and they want to pay back their loan, then it's all gonna be tracked in this yeah. in this uh, register here. Okay, Lucky, what else have we got in the game? So we've also got a photo frame. Okay, so at the end of each game, we will have a winner. So every winner, we would like them to just use this photo frame and record their name and the wealth that they've created in the game. So the wealth would be all the money, less all the loans that they've borrowed from the bank. So essentially this photo frame, they can use this and take a picture of, of their winning with their friends and then they can share this with their friends and families on, on social media. So the intention of this is we would like to at some point invite all the winners of the game from different community and get them into a bigger challenge down the track. So that at least we can uh, we can see how we perform with other type of winners in this game. Okay, so yeah. just bear in mind that this game is still in a prototype, so we haven't finalized uh, the game yet, and we're still working through the different rules and different mechanics and fine tuning, making sure that it has all the requirements um, finalized before we start going. Um, commercial printing sometime uh, next year. Okay?